again with you thanks indeed for joining me for another guitar lesson this one is uh, hopefully a, uh, an interesting one and a relatively short one uh, Bob Dylan's song Simple Twist of Fate from uh, this is the album version that originally the song came out on okay over the years he's obviously changed the arrangement somewhat changed the key uh, changed the tuning etc so this is the original version okay that I've done a lesson on. So you need to start off by tuning your guitar to open D tuning. So take take your standard tune guitar and you have to do a few strings differently okay so bottom E string has to go to D so detune it till it uh, sounds like the fourth string okay detune it to D. The fifth string stays the same the A string, the D string, fourth string stays the same. The third string, detune that to F sharp. Should sound like that. Okay. The second string, the B string, goes down to A, so that should sound now like your fifth string. And your top E string goes down to D, so that should sound like your fourth string. Then you've got this, which is basically a D chord, a D open tuning. So to go into the album mode uh, for this song, you need to put your capo on the second fret. And we're now playing the song in E open tuning. So that's now an E chord. Okay. So what this song does is basically you will have a rundown. Uh, Starting on the way I'm doing it, fifth fret from the capo on the fifth string. One finger, that's all you need. Um, and I'm going basically down five down to one. I'm not generally strumming the bottom E string. That's on the same okay? Just a single finger on that fifth fret of the A string. Then we go down a fret. To the fourth fret from the capo on the same string, fifth string. Then we go down again to the third fret from the capo on the fifth string. So what we got there is an E chord, first one with this fifth fret from the capo, E chord, down to the fourth fret from the capo on the fifth string becomes an E major seventh. Down again to the third fret from the capo becomes a C, uh, an E seventh. So you've got E major, E major, E major seventh, and an E seventh. Okay, so that's the first three chords of this. Uh, the intro is basically the same as the verse. So once you've learned the intro, you've got the whole song because it just consists of verses. Okay, so. Right, got that start 
starting off nicely. Now we go to an A chord, right, which is played in this tuning like this. Okay. So what you got there is uh, my first finger is playing the first fret from the capo on the third string. My second finger is playing the second fret from the capo on the fifth string, the A string. And my pinky, uh, sorry, my third finger is playing the second fret on the second string from the capo. Okay, second fret from the capo, second string. And it's five down to one again. It should sound like that. Okay. So first fret, first, first fret, third string, second fret, fifth string, the A string, and uh, second fret of the B string. Okay. So there you've got the fourth chord, so it's... Okay, and each time I'm playing those four chords, I am emphasising the sort of bass note progression down, okay? Then we go to uh, an A minor. And in this tuning, it's like this shape. That, okay, so what I've got there is, again, fifth fret from the capo on the fourth string with my second finger. My first finger is playing the fourth fret from the capo on the third string, the G string. My uh, third finger is playing the sixth, uh, sorry, the fifth fret from the capo on the second string, so it's like a D7 shape, if you like, okay, and the top string's open, okay, and all you need is those four strings, you don't want to be hitting anything else if you can help it, so now you've got that, so let's go from the beginning, Pickets from it, okay. It's quite nice when you change from the A to the A minor, uh, you can just do a very slight that's you can get that in, that's quite nice. So, just because you basically you're keeping those two fingers where they are, but just sliding them up to the fourth and fifth frets, okay. So, those two fingers keep the same shape, you just move this finger down to that. So it's quite nice to get that sort of uh, on that last. Just get, try and get a bit of a slide into it if you can. So now you're in the A minor. Now we go back to the E, just a single finger on the fifth fret on the fifth string, and we go down to that uh, fourth fret. Then we go to the A again, and just before you go back up here, you take that third finger off. So it's okay, go on. Okay, so now we've got this. Go from the beginning. Fingers on, off. Okay, then we go back to the E chord, just a single finger on the fifth fret from the on the fifth string. Then we go to this shape to finish it off. It's um, it's another one of those. It's like another D7 shape. First finger is playing the uh, first fret from the capo on the third string. Second finger is playing the second fret from the capo on the fourth string, 
and third finger is playing the second fret from the capo on the second string and this time you can go from five down to one fifth string open top E string open and that's another one of those first part of the strum is with all the three fingers take that then you towards the right the end of the, uh, the bar you take that third finger off back to the E and that's the whole thing okay so let's just go through this this is the intro and you can it's exactly the same for a verse okay so here it comes Thanks for watching. Hope the uh, that will help you play that song. Um, I've said I left it in the same uh, with the um, different tuning because uh, that's the way he plays it on the album, and that's uh, the, probably the best version, I think. Um, so anyway, it's my personal taste. But thanks for watching. I'll see you in the uh, next lesson. Bye for now.